The Golden State Warriors rolled a big third quarter to an eventual 1-0-7-2-8-8 win over the visiting Boston Celtics yesterday to leave the best of seven finals at one game appears. Jordan Poole's three-pointer at the buzzer from well beyond are capped at the 335-14 third quarter blitz that put home team up 87-64. The Doms continue to play suffocating defense and make shorts to extend the lead over the final 12 minutes to avoid a fourth quarter collapse like one that suffered in the game one on Thursday. The Celtics started Sunday's contest right where the left off at the end of the game one using their superior size to frustrate Warriors shooters and swashing threes from over the floor. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, Steph was um, breathtaking in that in that quarter. Um, not just the, uh, the shot making, but uh, the defensive effort. He just doesn't get enough credit for his level of uh, conditioning, and physicality, uh, and uh, and defense. Uh, you know, people people go at him to try to wear him down because they know how important he is to us offensively. And um, it's pretty dramatic, the difference in Steph's um, strength and, and physicality and his body now than uh, from, you know, eight years ago when I first got here. So the guy's amazing. He just keeps keeps working on his game, his, his strength, his conditioning um, year after year. And... Uh, it's a, it's a pleasure to watch him play every night. That's my job. Uh, just like I said, Steph Curry sets the tone on the offensive side of the ball. It's my job to set the tone on the defensive side of the ball. And I wanted to do that from the very beginning of the game. And, you know, first play, we come up with a jump ball, then we come up with a turnover. So uh, very important uh, for me to come out that way on that side. And I have to continue to do that. This series is not getting any easier. It's only getting tougher. So got to take that up even another couple notches. We look at it as a disappointing loss in game two and a game we didn't play up to our potential and our standard. And so regardless of what happened in game one, that's behind us. And we had opportunities, like I said, to, you know, give up 18 of their 52 in the first half based off turnovers and you know, obviously allowed them to be in that situation up too. So opportunities to play much better, one wasted in the first half. And then obviously the third quarter got away from us even more as, as opposed to the first half where we turned it over a lot. We were still scoring. Uh, it worked against us in that half, uh, not only the turnovers, but poor offense. And a lot of those led to leak outs as well. Uh, in that situation, uh, Draymond fouled me on a three then put his legs on my head or whatever. I tried to get up, you know, um, but that's what they're going to do. That's what he's going to do. He's going to try to muck the game up, try to raise a level of intensity. Um, we got to raise ours. I felt like they got away with a lot tonight, um, but we got to come ready to play, um, come ready to meet that, meet that physicality. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.